Hi Leos, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. It's an open conversation for whatever comes through, whatever they want to talk about. This week we're using the Finestra Tarot. Our clarifying deck is the Steampunk Tarot. And of course we're using the Big Mama Message deck, the index cards. I've done shuffled uh, both sides of the deck, so... I don't torture you and put you through that. Make you sit through it. <laughs> Y'all know if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out and see if I pick up the energy there. Bottom of the deck energy, we've got an ace of pentacles. Ow, manifesting something new, starting out new, or somebody's wanting to offer you something. Mmm. See who's coming forward the strongest this week for my Leos. And what do they want to talk about? This is for my Leo, their person. Let's do that one more time, guys. Leos, Leos. Let's get it going. What are we talking about? Leo's person, where's her energy at? What would you like to talk about? Leo, Leo. Hmm. Right here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yes, getting lucky. Faded to be together. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Or it could be patterns, y'all. I don't want to bust my bubble. Another one standing with it is the High Priestess. Mm. High Priestess, the hidden knowledge. Sometimes she holds things in secret, but it's also about intuition, having an intuitive connection with someone. Ooh, Leo's. That's interesting. What else? What else? Oh, we've got somebody stressing, obsessing. Yes. Ah. Big time stress card. Anxiety. We've got another one with it. Oh, somebody's liking their freedom and independence is what I'm hearing. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is about freedom and independence, but the shadow side of, of that card is you feel alone. You feel like you're alone. Hmm. Okay. Keep going. Tell us some more. Right here. Oh, Seven of Swords. This might be in strategic. Thinking strategically how to get around obstacles. It's also a card about thievery. Y'all know it's a sneaky card. It's opposition, things like that. But it's about thinking in a strategic way. Uh-huh. We'll pull, we'll pull on that one. We're going to go deeper on that one. They're having anxiety. They're obsessing. That nine of pentacles. Like I said, I'm not feeling very confident on that, that positive side of that nine of pentacles card. It's more like I feel like I'm alone. Uh-huh. Feeling like you're fated to be together? Let's find out what the... Let's go deeper on the wheel. Let's find out what that wheel is for sure. What are they saying with the wheel? Tell us more about that wheel. The wheel of fortune. Where's our energy? Come on, speak to us. There it is. On the chariot card, most definitely. They feel like you're meant to be together. Uh, that's a battle wagon. Um... It's also a victory card in determination, determination, but it's also being in sync with each other, moving forward together. So this person does actually feel like you're, that you are meant to be together. You're fated to be together and that you have an intuitive connection. So anything else on that? Oh, somebody's emotionally dissatisfied. We got twin flame friction going on, y'all. Hmm. And frustrations with patience, waiting, patiently waiting for something to come to fruitation and asking yourself, is it ever going to happen? When's the right time? Because uh, this seems to be saying this. I'm also picking up for the will. It's also indicating even though they think you're fated to be together, you're supposed to be together. It's like twin flame energy. Um, It's also a pattern you're in and out with each other. Mm -hmm. What else you want to say on that? Leah's person. What else you want to say on that one? Anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. Nothing else. 
Okay. They're just getting frustrated and, and wondering, is it ever going to happen? Let's come over here to their Nine of Swords. And that feeling alone on that um, Nine of Pentacles. Nines, 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 y'all. Nines. Tell us, tell us what you're having obsessing over. Trying to make it happen, the Magician card. Hoping that it's going to happen. Feeling disappointed and left behind. A Ace of Swords. That's a card of triumph trying to win you over, but also new ideas. I'm also hearing communication. They're having a hard time communicating. They may be blocked on communicating. They feel defeated. Uh, we may have hard words. Hard words that cut each other up with that one. And then judgment. Resurrection. Redo energy. Mm -hmm. Harvest. Also, judgment card is about uh, pulling in the harvest. You get the judgment of what you've, the seeds you've sowed, that kind of thing. So, this this person is definitely feeling disappointed. They feel defeated. They want to win this over. They really do. And they want to talk. Let's, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the communication part of that sword. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and Page of Pentacles. They're trying. They're trying to talk to us, be realistic, practical about things. It's, it's slow-moving energy, y'all. But uh, I, I feel like this one's representing them. They're the ones wanting to take action, and you're the babe. You're the page that's standing outside the love arena going, No, no. Oh, I don't want to talk to you right now. Hmm. Okay, let's get these cards back up. So they they do feel out in the cold, feel lonely. They're they're stressed out, big time stressed out with this one obsessing over over us and over our connection and how it's not working, things like that. I want to see what they want. What they're wanting to say with that seven of swords, because that's trying to think strategically. Uh huh. But it's also a card of thievery and sneakiness. Let's find out what they're going to tell us on it. Temperance. Uh, patience. Uh, emotionally dissatisfied. I know. I know. Making sacrifices. <laughs> yes. And still coming up in a lack mentality. And still feeling disappointed and left behind. What else? Want things to move quicker. Or they want to communicate. They, that's another card for communication. It's also, it, even though it's momentum, things right, rise into a, you know, a new level, higher level, as you would say. It's also about communications, but it's communicating from a distance. From a distance. This person, mm, they're not going to tell me a whole lot. They're telling me what they feel. Uh, and they're, they're using temperance, patience. Because they really do want to, to communicate with us. But they're not telling us about their sneakiness. What is this sneakiness? Oh. Don't you want to tell us? Come on. Cancer. No, Leo's person. Sorry, guys. Oh, the chariot. The chariot. Cancer. Trying to get it pulled together. The battle wagon. Termination. Heartache. Heartache. Sorry, what else? Mm, Hermit, they're not telling us. <laughs> they're not going to tell us because that is introspection, following your own light. You don't need you don't need to explain stuff to other people, <laughs> that kind of thing. So this person, yeah, to them, they're doing something. They're trying to be strate strategic in how to communicate with us and to get things to move quicker. Getting flow quicker. They got that determination. But it uh, key thing right here would be my Leo's is the communicating from a distance. So they may be trying to figure out how to communicate with us from a distance. Yes. How to get you to listen. <laughs> uh, respond back. Yes. Hold the energy on this deck. It's for my Leo's person. Let's go ahead and pull messages. Ooh, look, I didn't even shuffle. 
we were pulling on this one because that high priestess and the wheel of fortune. Your person is putting it out quick. I'm so lost in you. I'm so lost in you. What else? What else you want to say? I want you to trust me. What else? Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. I wish you could see how beautiful and amazing you truly are. You make me forget everything. Everything stressful just melts away. And then we got a November Scorpio Sagittarius. Mm, month of November. That should give you confirmation on something. If it doesn't hang on to it, it could in the immediate future. What I mean by immediate future is days to a couple of weeks, not years and months, y'all. Mm -mm. And it may not be meant for all of us. It may just be for a few of us to give confirmation. Anything else? Anything else on that wheel? Was there anything else on the wheel? Okay, let's... Oh, wait. Right here. I need to, to look into your eyes. I need to look into your eyes. Mm. Let's come over to that stress card, that obsessing and stress scene, nine of swords. I'm thinking about making you an offer. Mm -hmm. What else? Right here. It's time to get real. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Leos, what do you need? I'm worried that you've moved on and that you don't want me anymore. Mm. Let's switch over to that sneaky strategic thinking over here. I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. What else? What else? You're unforgettable. Yes, you are, Leo. Y'all know it. Mm -hmm. You're unforgettable. What else? Right here. Hint. We got a hint. This is the second time this one came out this week. I was so glad that you broke the ice and said hi. That assured me it was safe to approach you. Are they giving you a hint to reach out and connect with them? Because they need you. I need you. Oh, my goodness. Let's rotate the message decks, guys, so I'll know which side to pull from on the second round. And we'll go back to the tarot. There's your hint. <laughs> your hint, Leo's. I like that card. Y'all know the first, when it come out this week, I'm like, who wrote that card? It's my handwriting. I don't remember doing it. <laughs> It'll be okay, sis. Yes. Let's go back to my Leos in their person. What do you want to talk about now? What are you bringing out now? Go oh, right here. King of Cups, they have a vision of love towards you. Yes, they do. That's a Scorpio King of Cups. Mm-hmm. A visionary that can see the future. Justice, Libra, fairness. What is it coming on? Guys, y'all know I have to remind myself on their stress factor. They want truth and honesty with that one. We got the will in that intuitive. Okay, yeah, we got the high priestess. That that's them. They're they're saying they are intuitively connected to you. Yes, they they feel your presence. Can you feel me with you? I know when you're thinking about me. That kind of thing. Next thing we're talking about is the judgment, a resurrection, and a redo. What was that one? Oh, that sneaky. That sneaky. They want. They want a a resurrection. They do. They They you know the redo, the rebirth. Have fun, and they want a commitment. Yeah. What did I just hear? Because we got the hair font. That's about faith also. They are confident. They are saying they are confident with that one. Especially pulling uh, our visionary uh, Scorpio King over here. And then popping a Taurus energy. They feel confident that you will be back together. Mm -hmm. Let me pull this thing punk so I have a full deck to work with here. Tell me about your vision, your vision on that Scorpio King. 
What do you envision for you and my Leo? Oh, understanding strength, getting back together, getting to know each other, clarifying boundaries with each other. Y'all know the strength card is about taming the beast or the lion. You're either taming it or training it. Taming it means pacifying, keeping it from eating you or devouring you. And training it is learning how to make clear what's appropriate boundaries. What's acceptable, what's not, what you like, what you don't like, that kind of thing. So this person feels feels confident that you're going through a process of just getting clear on boundaries and learning how. The key, key word for this one, everybody says, is courage. It is one of the key words. But for me, the main key word is, is understanding. It's the magician that doesn't use tools other than their hands and their intuition to know how to read someone else's energy and not be consumed by them. <laughs> then we have our justice, Libra, fairness again, balance, harmony between us. I'm, I, a lot of times when I see um, Libra justice, I don't see the scales. I see a yin-yang energy that's swirling around. So this is coming in sync with each other and getting real and clear, honest and transparent with each other. And an opportunity to get past the fears and the subconscious triggers that uh, you might be putting each other through. Just to get to feel more comfortable with each other and less guarded. Uh huh. Let's see what they're wanting to say on the justice. That justice, that truth, honesty, clarity, balance. Ah, I main influence. Queen of Wands, Aries, Divine Feminine, Aries energy. What else? Ew. The influence right now that's blocking y'all being in harmony, being in fairness. You're the influence because you're really cold right now. Yeah, sit down, Empress Maid. But just know the fact this person is pulling you in this uh, queen energy and empress energy, don't let gender throw you. It's telling us that you have captivated their heart, that you have totally stole their heart. You're their total focus. Also, uh, every, every choice they make is influenced by what you are doing and what you are choosing. They factor in everything, every action they take by you, what you're doing. You're that influence. A lot of passion. Got a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. And y'all know sometimes that don't run into like the sensual passion. It can be the button head kind of passion, angry, um, slap you <laughs> kind of energy. So yeah, right now, and they they want you to quit being so cold. And um, to them, they, they feel like you're in sit down mode, that you're watching and, and considering you're not taking any action right now. So they feel like you've not totally given up on them. That may be their confidence of knowing uh, where they're saying, I'm confident we're going to be back together. Uh, so, yeah. They feel like you're still in the connection with them. You're just not taking actions towards it right now because you're cold. You're cold. Let's see. Let's see what else they want to say on that. Oh, we got some devil inner demon Capricorn energy blocking us. Oh, we're, we're trying to get in sync, the yin and yang with each other. Fighting our own inner demons. Mm -hmm. Making compromises and sacrifices and uh, sacrifices in the connection uh, to get that equal, equal balance. But also getting clarity with each other. Getting comfortable with each other. Being able to trust each other. Because I get a sense that we're coming at each other with um, fear, out of fear-based stuff. And we both of us are trying to protect our own hearts. And we've been doing that probably for a while with each other. And this person is hoping that the two of you can get past that and learn how to trust, to trust each other. Both of you, uh, what am I picking up, y'all? You both had hard, hard early life early life okay let's move over to the judgment and the hair font which I really don't feel like they you know they spoke it clearly but we'll see they are stressing they are obsessing and stressing 
Oh, the Seven of Swords. They're trying to be strategic again. Seven of Swords. Because they want their Leo. Yes, they do. King of Wands energy. Wait, 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 wait. That was two, two Seven of Swords. Ah. What did I just hear? You y'all mirror each other in this strategicness mind games, mind games on each other. Y'all mirror mirror in that. And the emperor rolling factor. That's a rolling factor. It's not representing a person. Tell me what the rolling factor is right now. Cancer, queen of my heart. The intuitive connection. You know how to read each other's energy, and you know how to cut each other up with your words. You know what to do to make each other feel bad. Mm, you're perfect at it. <laughs> yes, you are. And, yeah. This person is saying that y'all know each other so well that you mirror it when it comes to pulling heartstrings and... and mm, the, the the strategic way of thinking mind games is you know I don't know how to put it just pulling pulling strings to hurt you know to get what you want and you both do it because it pushes y'all because you're perfect at that with both each other and you both push each other out of the love arena to where you're standing going I'm so sick of you <laughs> I'm not getting in that arena with you no more because it's become a boxing a, you know a boxing match. <laughs> Round what? Twelve, y'all. <laughs> round nine. Nine. We got all the nines. It's round nine for us. Ooh. Yeah, we... Mm. I got a feeling your person may be right, Malios, that y'all are... Y'all match. Y'all match. Y'all mirror. Like I said, twin flame friction, mirroring each other and trying to get through the friction of it to be able to bond on a deep level and stand in that bond with each other instead of beating each other up and, and pushing each other out of the love arena. Ew, we met our match, didn't we? Let's go ahead and get the messages. See what they want to say on King of Cups energy. Forever is not long enough. My love for you will never die. Mm-hmm. Desire. They got a lot of desire. Mm, you're stalling. You're stalling. They feel like you're stalling. You're the one. That, but they did put you in the Empress sit down mode. Of, that's, I'm not taking any action right now. The best action for me to take is none. I'm just watching you. Got my eyes on you. Got my eyes on you. <laughs> you complete me. Let's come over to that justice, that fairness, that yin-yang. Let's get in harmony with each other. Sometimes I hate how much I love you. Leo. Mm -hmm. that's, that, that's that page of pentacles standing outside the arena. I hate you. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Can we at least be friends? Ooh, that was cold. That was a cut. I know we have a real connection, but we just went serious. Yes, we did. Baby, please don't treat me bad. Let's come over to their confidence that there's going to be a resurrection here. Their confidence card, that judgment and hair font. I've been through so much, I don't know if I can start over again. But you know they're willing. I have been wanting to reach out to you for a long time. I got myself in trouble. Uh-oh. What else? What else? Hmm. I'm getting more than one here. I'm going through a lot right now. They got themselves in trouble right now. I'm going through a lot. I'm crazy about you, though. What else? Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. Right here. I promise there will be no lies and secrets again. No lies and secrets again. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final messages from... It's from my Leo's. Their person. Oh, we're going with the roses. The light side of the rose deck. We'll take it. Yes, we will. It's 
my Liege Air Person. Whatever you want to say. Here we go. I have your back no matter what happens. My whole being, body, mind, and soul is attracted to you. I never know what to say to you. I'm so nervous around you. I feel like that's a temporary thing. I think y'all say a lot. I almost hate how much I love you. I almost hate it. The moment I saw you, I knew I was going to fall in love with you. I really do love you. I want you in my life always. Guarded. My heart is guarded. Your heart's guarded. Our hearts are guarded. We have shared many past lives together. Twin flame soulmate. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. It's like we share the same mind and heart. Yes, we are perfect at hurting each other and playing mind games with each other. Last one. I'm afraid to tell you. <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I lied. There's another one standing. Y'all see it? Let's take it. Let's just have some fun. Yes. Leo's, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.